Hey Indianapolis Motor Speedway fans, Doug Bowles here with you from the Northwest Vista Turn 4 of the Oval at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for this episode of Behind the Bricks. You know, we've had a lot of fun with these Behind the Bricks, showing you things that you don't necessarily see when you come to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and we thought it might be fun for those of you who aren't here for the Indianapolis 500 or our other events to give you an idea of where some of those iconic photos and some of those iconic videos are taken from so that you can see them at home either in those still photos or during the television broadcast. We're just about 11 months from the 107th running of the Indianapolis 500 presented by GameBridge and we're just a month or so from our Brickyard weekend. That's when you get to see the NTT IndyCar Series as well as the Cup Series and the Xfinity Series here for our racing. And you can watch the racing from right here in the Northwest Vista. But we're gonna start here. We're gonna run up to one of the video platforms just over my shoulder here. Have some fun checking it out so you can see the way that our team has to crawl their way up there and the view that they get that you see on your television at home. Well, 111 steps from the bottom up to what's gonna be in a moment. We're gonna go up to this video platform, but. As a fan, you have an opportunity to sit up here. It's an unbelievable view of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, the city of Indianapolis back across the way. Lots of iconic things have happened here. The start, 11 rows of three, coming through turn four, getting ready for the green flag. But if you're covering it for TV, you need to be up even higher. So I had those 111 steps. Now we're gonna go up the ladder. So from up here, you see a little bit more even. So you've got your cameras, they can tether down up here. See all the way down the front stretch into turn one see drivers coming into turn three you see over half the indianapolis motor speedway from this camera platform right here that's why you get some of those iconic images and that iconic footage from nbc right here at turn four so one of those shots that's iconic when you watch the indianapolis 500 broadcast been around forever disappeared for a few years but was back this year this robo cam that's right here that catches the speed of the cars as they come out of turn four head down the front stretch one of the things we love so much that little box, that piece of dirt right there, that's where those flowers are that you see every time you see the cars screaming by here at 230 miles an hour. One of the first rules in motorsport is never turn your back on race cars. This place, when it's racing, 33 cars, 230 miles an hour, this is where you get that amazing shot of those cars coming at you. Just one of almost 100 cameras that helps us film the Indianapolis 500. So we've given a lot of love to where the NBC video cameras are, but you know Chris Owens, Joe Skabinski, the entire photo team here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway gets some of the most spectacular photos anywhere in the world in motorsports. One of the places it starts is right here where E stand meets B stand, actually E penthouse meets B penthouse, and you have to spelunk your way down to get to that platform that shows you that iconic start of the Indianapolis 500. So there are a lot of great seats at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, some of them right below us, some of them right above us, but there's not a better seat than this one right here as you look down the front stretch. Imagine 11 rows of three, 33 cars coming to the green flag to take the Indianapolis 500 start and get ready to take those 500 miles. So for our last stop, we're going to go check out how those videos are taken along the front stretch of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. In 2016, during Project 100, we actually took off the old roof of the grandstands, added three new rows, and put a brand new roof on there. And when we put that brand new roof on there, we had some safety precautions to make sure when you get up on that roof, you're safe. So I'm going to put on this harness, not exactly as exciting as my six point harness when I get a chance to run in the Vintage Grand Prix here, uh, but we're going to put this on. We're going to go to the top. We've got to strap in when we're up there. And we're going to jump down in a basket and let you see exactly how NBC films that front stretch and the pit stops right across the way. So we're going to go down in this camera platform basket right below here. We'll open it up, go down a ladder. You can see there's a couple more of those behind me. There's another one down towards turn one. So. The men and women who are filming the racing hat actually open this up and then they actually just climb right in and they're going to climb right down making sure i'm holding on here on the way down so here you are this is a pretty spectacular view here in the camera platform in this basket these would be great seats not just a great camera platform but you can see all the way at the end you've got the basket just at the end of the paddock there for nbc one right next to us here and then there's another one about across from the pylon down there. This is the basket where you see the front stretch. You look down in the cockpit on those restarts, really great view, all the pre-race ceremonies, anything taking place at Victory Celebration across the way in Victory Lane. You can see that all from this amazing camera platform. And we had to traverse the roof. So there you have it, race fans. A behind the scenes tour and behind the bricks of all of the camera platforms, or at least some of the camera platforms that make 
watching the race at home so special or checking out those things that are Photoshop, the amazing photos that our photographers get. Thanks again for joining us on Behind the Bricks. I'm gonna stay up here the rest of the day. Beautiful view of my favorite place on earth, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and my favorite city, Indianapolis, Indiana.